Hello, hi. If you enjoy anything in this video, you should consider the following. Subscribe to me here on YouTube, follow me on Twitch, and on TikTok, where I make other forms of content and where I post my other content. All right, cool, enjoy the video. However long this segment winds up being when I post it to YouTube and edit it for YouTube, uh, I, at the end of it, I will attach that same rant that I did uh, last year, because it is entirely worth posting. And uh, with that out of the way, let's talk about how some people just can't get a grip and do not want to understand when they've done something wrong. And how you can explain to someone the things that they've done wrong over and over and over and over and they just will not understand. And I'm bringing this up because there was a particular individual that not only myself, but many others have had problems with in our streams, in our discords, what have you. And their name, well, they go by many, many different fucking names. But their main name that they go by is Video James or Visual James or something with the word James attached to it, right? And I'm bringing this up strictly because uh, last night at the time of this stream and at the time of this recording or whatever, uh, I had got a, uh, I got a follow on Twitter. And I was like, okay, odd. Because I, I normally don't get followed on Twitter, let's just be honest. Plus, I only use Twitter as an entertainment source. I've said this plenty of times. Anyway, I got a, a retweet, a like, and a follow on Twitter all at the same time. And I'm like, who the, what the fuck? And I look at it, and it was a tweet in relation to this James motherfucker. And I'm like, uh, okay, that's a little odd. Uh, Hadn't tweeted about that guy in like a year. But whatever, I'll take a follow. And I look at uh, the reply and it's like, oh hey, I've had run-ins with this piece of shit too. And I'm like, damn, that sucks. You know, it, it's, it's hilarious to hear that he's still on his bullshit. So then, from that point, I didn't really pay any mind any attention to it from then on. Because, you know, so I assumed it was a one and done thing. But then I look at my Twitter DMs, and I'm like, oh, no, he hasn't stopped. He's still on his shit. Because recently, um, the person that DM'd me, he, James found their way back into the server that he originally got, you know, booted from, and whatever, for being a creep and not listening to people's boundaries and whatever. And he was back on his bullshit. So I'm like, oh, oh lord, that's uh, that's interesting to find out about. And then the more I talk to this individual, the more I'm like, whoa, he really hasn't fucking stopped. And he went on this tirade because the first person that he had got the boot from or whatever was like, hey, you're weird, you're violating my boundaries, um, cut that out. That etc etc and because he's one of those people who just cannot understand the concept of being told no and that you're doing something wrong he very quickly uh put out the, the reverse uno card blame game i started going on about well well i only did this and you're not seeing it my way and blah 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 and doing everything he can to like victimize himself and to make himself look good and uh, that wasn't working out. And he went as far as to like, <laughs> like ban evade on a Discord, for Christ's sake. Um, yeah, did some ban evading on a Discord. Did some ban evading with ugh, like several different Twitch accounts, several di different uh, Twitter accounts, and then went as far as to like continue to message this individual through Minecraft and Steam? 
which you know is is very telling of someone who cannot handle uh, doing anything wrong in this godforsaken world. But uh, yeah, that happened, and it continued to happen. And like I said earlier, it just recently happened again. But this time it was over the same person that gave him the boot the first time, who made the original Twitter thread about him. Um, they got like some pixel art, and James got pressed about that. And, uh, yeah, that's weird in and of itself, but I want, I'm bringing this up because recently, and when I say recently, I mean like a few-ish months ago, uh, in a Discord server that I frequently hang out in with one of my friends, one of my streamer friends, um, he rejoined on another Discord account after he had gotten banned from that one months ago. And, uh, at first we couldn't really tell that it was him, but the more he, like, spoke and talked to people, and he fucked up when he was in the, in the voice call, and he was being really weird and asking about a specific person's, like, contact information, like, very personal shit, like, like, you could dox someone type level of information that this dude was asking for. And then, some of us, like, DM'd each other and was like, is this who we think it is? And then the more he spoke, uh, the more his voice sounded familiar, and then we put the pieces together, we found him out, and then he left the server. Well, he left the call, he left the server of his own accord, like, really, really fast once he started getting called out for the shit. And, uh, then he got banned from that Discord server, too. And there, there, there's plenty of Twitter threads you can find about this guy, which is hilarious, by the way. Um, plenty of uh, Twitter threads you can find about him, like call-out posts about him and whatnot. And he still is on this aspect of, no one ever tells me what I did wrong, how am I supposed to improve when people tell me what I did wrong, I don't understand what I did wrong, oh, it's my disability and whatever and shit, and it's like, bro... Res di as disrespectfully as possible, shut the fuck up. You are not going to continue to be coddled and told exactly what it is that you're doing wrong because you know what the fuck you're doing wrong. People are telling you what you're doing wrong, but because you cannot fathom being wrong under any circumstance because you, you want people to be nice to you and want people to treat you positively even when you do something wrong, so that way you can learn, and no, that's not how the real world works, and I know that in one way or another, that dumb son of a bitch is gonna see this video, gonna see this stream, gonna see whatever of it, and he's gonna try to, you know, flip, flip, twist, and kick, flip, and spin the narrative and whatever, but no, people got receipts, people, like, know who you are, you, th there's no reason that, like, a, a single viewer that watches VTubers, um, has, like, seven different threads about him being a fucking freak with people, has, like, multiple threads about him just being a creep and not listening to boundaries and not respecting people's time and whining and crying when you don't get your way and acting like you're gonna bring about the planet's ruination because someone told you off about yourself and you don't like that, so therefore you act out in spite of that. No, that's not how this works. You're a human being, you're a grown-ass man, and this shit should have stopped a long time ago. But not only has he been continuing to be a creep and bother people in their own discords and, like, hound them on stream and bring up other people on other people's streams to hound and talk about them in a negative way, like, dude... Life don't work like that, gang. And not only has he been, like, doing all that all that shit, let, let's also talk about the fact that, like, like, this dude is one of the biggest, uh, um, uh, that caught on was one of the biggest, uh, Lalacon, like, defenders and sympathizers under the pretense of, you know, blah, 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 it's not real, but, like, there are, and now many deleted tweets, um, 
him just straight up telling people that have admitted to you know well my abuser used this to try and like make it seem okay and whatever he and his replies will ultimately resound to well that's tough um it's still not as bad as you make it out to be and it's like yo get help preferably from something that i can't say due to tos reasons um but like in in addition to all that shit he's also like that he he's also a reply guy and like like there are records of this because any any female identifying or presenting um individual on twitter who would have allegations usually with proof and uh, accusations usually with proof of them sexually harassing or sexually abusing somebody he'll be the first guy in replies to be all like well i think you should give them another chance and they're not as bad as you're making out to be and everyone deserves a second chance and blah 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 and like one person in particular in the vtubing space who is like a proven uh abuser and proven pedophile uh he was in their replies like Fighting everyone tooth and nail on some on some 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 white knight shit, and being like, "Well, no, you guys are too hard on her, and you need to give her another chance." You know, she didn't know what she was doing. She knew exactly what the fuck she was doing, and shit. And he, it had to be meticulously explained to him that uh, defending someone who was accused of being a pedophile, and and there is proof to back up that statement, you shouldn't be doing that at all but he still continues to do that shit to this day and still to the day he continues to stalk people he continues to use his i don't even know how many goddamn twitter and and, and discords to chase after people to follow people around and blah 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 and is like incredibly invasive for no reason no reason at all he has no premise to be doing this but that's just what he does and like i said um the thread well the threads that i made about the the bastard were made a year ago and he's still doing the same thing mm, but worse and it's like, dude, what is your problem? Get a grip. Understand that, first of all, no one really likes you. I'm going to just be honest. No one likes you at all. And the fact that you are known as a stalker and a harasser when people tell you no, or when people tell you at first calmly to stop doing something and then you continue to do the thing and then you're like well i don't understand what i'm doing wrong and you have it explained to you what you're doing wrong you can't blame it on a disability you can't blame it on anything except you uh being a piece of shit because that's what you are you're a piece of shit there, there is no other way to explain what you are outside of explaining it in that manner because only people like that who just I, I don't know if it's narcissism i don't know if it's selfishness i don't know if it's just general ineptitude or whatever but there sh you shouldn't have to explain to someone seven different times that hey don't act like this don't don't be all like weirdly parasocial with me don't be all uh, freakishly buddy buddy with me I don't know you like that don't don't sit up here and talk about looking up information about me that people probably shouldn't know and shit like don't sit up here and be all weird in my replies and then look at me sideways when I'm looking at you sideways for being a creep whether that be in my streams or in my discord or whatever you are the one at fault here don't act like you're not and that just doesn't go for that weirdo that goes for anyone that does that shit if someone tells you that you're doing something wrong 
and that you are making them uncomfortable, obviously, you should stop. And you have no room, rhyme, or reason to get all piss, rage, mad, and start having a fit when someone tells you about that. You don't, you don't get it when they're being nice to you, as you also beg for people to do. And then, because then when people get to, you know, being mean and cutthroat with you and short with you, then you want to have a meltdown. Then you want to cry about, no, no one ever tells what I'm doing wrong and no one's nice to me about it and blah, blah, blah. No, no, you don't deserve to have someone be nice to you about it because if you are told in, in at least three different iterations of please stop doing this and then you don't get it after that, A, you deserve all the bu all the bullying, all the yelling, and all the meanness that comes your way because you are literally inviting it upon yourself. I I don't care how people feel about that. That that's just how it is. You have to be told several different times to stop doing one thing, and then you continue to do that one thing that you've been told not to do. That's on you. If, 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 if an entire server or an entire section of Twitter just starts like bullying you and telling and telling you off about yourself, that's your fault, dog. You did that to yourself and you need to stop doing that. Because there's no reason that, and I'm, and I'm going to keep repeating this, there is no reason that a whole year later after I made the threads that I made about you, that you're still doing the same shit, bro. Like, it, it doesn't make any sense to me how someone can be told in so many different ways to stop doing something and then you continue to do that and then you have the audacity to act like you're the one in the right. You're not. You're not. And that's why people are going to continue making threads about you. That's why people are going to continue treating you like you're fucking Voldemort. That's why people are going to keep treating you as if you shouldn't exist anywhere because you shouldn't. You you don't. You are you are a literal threat to people's safety because what average streamer, watcher, viewer, or whatever, just sits and be like, oh well, hey, I punched in some of your information on this website and I found all the stuff about you. You know uh, what happened to you doing this? What happened to you doing that? Why did you change your name? Uh. What, was this your old Minecraft name? Um, you know, you used to stream on this account. Why did you stop streaming on that account? You used to be active in these communities, in these Twitter spaces. Why did you stop doing that? That shit is weird, bro. That is literal stalker-like behavior. And the fact that you got angry when you were told not to do that says a whole lot about you, bro. I, I, I could go into a lot more detail about this one guy. But uh, some of that stuff is like, like shit I can't talk about for TOS reasons, both on Twitch and YouTube. So uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll we'll leave it at that. And whenever I upload this to YouTube, right after this is gonna be uh, that that rant that I did last year about the guy, and then that'll just be that. Cause oh my good gracious God, go! Oh. Well, I didn't know that was wrong. I wasn't aware of that. You didn't tell- Bullshit, yes the fuck I did tell you. Yes the fuck other people told you. So, anyway, going past that shit. Huh. <sighs> this dumbass went looking for a four-day-old tweet. I, and and I, I want to repeat a four-day-old tweet. Okay. He saw the tweet. He responded to said tweet. And this dumbass proceeded to make it all about him. Now, at this point, he's long since the deleted everything, blocked people. However, through the power of the back button and the power of this little camera icon right here, it does it does it does, it does, it does, it does it doesn't fucking matter. What he does, where he goes, what he says, who he bitches to, who he victimizes himself to, that shit don't matter. Because motherfuckers got the receipts. The, the May has the receipts, okay? 
And like, even then, even on top of that, this motherfucker goes all the way back to goddamn February, right? Doing the same shit. Stepping out of line. Stepping over people's boundaries. Ignoring people's boundaries. Being a fucking creep. Doing shit he has no business doing. But instead, instead goes to other people to apologize and victimize the ever-living fuck out of himself to try and make himself look like he's the one being ostracized. He's the one being bullied. Trying to make it look like everybody is against him when no. Newsflash, dumbass. And to anyone else who engages in similar levels of dumbassery, newsflash, when you do shit that people don't like, and you continue to do those things, and then you proceed to try and defend yourself against the things that you were explicitly told were wrong, that makes you an asshole. That makes you a shitty person. That makes you someone who is quite literally incapable of understanding what you're doing wrong when you are told you are doing wrong. And and another thing, another thing, and this goes to him and anyone else who does this shit. I, no, we're not going to do the whole, oh, well, my disability. No, bullshit. There are people who have way worse communicative and social disabilities than social communication disorder and whatnot, right? There are people with worse things, but they are still able to understand and realize when they do something fucking wrong. We're not, we are not going to play the disability crutch game. We are not going to make excuses for horrible behavior. We are not going to go through this self-victimization bullshit this self-pity party bullshit. We're not doing that. The, the time for letting people get away with that shit is done and over with. We ain't doing this shit no more because time and time and time and time and time and time again. People do this. They get away with it. And it's just like, oh, we're back to square fucking one. Okay? Alright? Even then. Even then. This shit... Right here, this motherfucker was told, stop doing this shit, stop doing this shit, be better, we're giving you chances, you're giving chance after chance after chance after chance, bro, and still, still, you continue to fuck up, show your ass, and expose yourself as someone that does not give a fuck when it doesn't benefit them, right, right? I just read through all of this. There's way too much action. Aw, oh, dude. Aw, oh, dude. Dude, if you if you would have seen, like, the live chain reply tweets that he was doing uh, a few hours ago. Because not, not only, not only was he, like, being extra as piss for no reason at all. The other thing is that in his feeble, foolish attempts to defend himself, his incoherent bullshit he was saying, he was writing this anime MC train type beat for, for no goddamn reason, being the whole circus, trying to defend himself and shit, and, and he had the audacity, the nerve, to tell me to get off the moral high ground, when, first of all, dumbass, there is no moral high ground to be had. What I am telling you is that you are a piece of shit that cannot listen, that routinely gets kicked out from communities 
and other places because of your bullshit. You, you, if, if one of your qualities as a person is the fact that you get ostracized all the time and no one gives me a chance and I always have to defend myself and I always get bullied and no one listens to me and blah 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 and then when you literally prove everyone right by doing the shit you get told is the problem it's almost like you should take up a career being a fucking clown anyway Moving on past that. It is disgustingly, disgustingly common that this kind of shit happens. And normally, normally, this level of irritation and or rage... I would be having because I would see some bullshit, whether it be politics, world news, or some garbage happening in the VTuber community. This is the one time, and it better be the fucking last time, this is the one time where my ire, my rage, is both directed at a single person, and... The VTuber watchers of the community, which is an entirely different ball game in and of itself. And I don't have the time, the effort, or enough water in my goddamn bottle right now to discuss that. Maybe some other time. Not right now. We're not having that conversation right now. We'll have that later. But this. This whole ordeal from just today alone for f oh, Hold on. Four fucking hours ago, right? This was a waste of so many people's time. And even that, right? right the, the original tweet, the original tweet was the vaguest shit. Because in one hand, it was like... Hmm, it's almost like when people join a server or a community and they consistently, consistently go on about, oh, well, I always get kicked out of places and blah, 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 blah. Why the fuck? Why? Why is that what you constantly talk about, huh? Huh? It's almost like, it's almost like. You want to be pitied. For what? You want to have extra attention on you. For what? You want someone to feel bad about you and for you. For what? Why why is it? Why is it that people people like this motherfucker right here? Why do they routinely do this shit? Huh? Why, why is it that when someone is rightfully called out for their crap and rightfully checked about their crap, why is it that instead of being like, hmm, okay, yeah, fucked up, my bad, I will reflect on my transgressions. And I will then use that as the building blocks to improve. I'll tell you why. Number one. They lack common sense. Just straight up fucking lack common sense. Okay. Second. They refuse. Refuse. To perceive what they do. As wrong. Even when you are straight up told by not one person, not two people, not three people, but half of a stream chat 
telling you to stop doing something and you keep doing the thing. How in God's and Satan's unholy name do you still continue to do the shit, right? And I am specifically citing something that happened a few weeks ago, right? TODR. It's 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 on Twitter. It's on my fucking I'll I will link the goddamn tweet in chat right now. I will make a highlight of this shit right now because that this is this is how frustrated, this is how pissed off I am with this stupid shit. And I for a long time have been at my limit with the stupid shit, okay? I'm done. I'm not I'm not dealing with this crap anymore from anyone. And I don't give a damn who sees this. I don't give a damn if James sees this. Fuck you. You understand? There is nothing you can do. Nothing at all. To make yourself look like a good person in this situation. And anyone that acts like you. Hey yo, thanks for the sub, Sammy. I appreciate that. Thanks a lot. Anyone that acts like you, James... Can piss off too. I am tired of routinely, routinely seeing this kind of crap from people over the years. Whether it be in person, whether it be at my job, whether it be in the many, many communities that I've been in over the years of being an internet denizen, right? I am tired. Of this dog, of this dog water dog shit, okay? I am tired. I have been tired for a very long time. I don't give two fucks who or what has a problem with me calling this bullshit out. But when some stupid shit needs to be called out, god damn it, it gets called out. Alright? Now... Looping back to my paraphrase, my TLDR of these Twitch DM screenshots or whatever. Short version. This motherfucker James, who, by the way, has uh, now changed his name to Mr. Gardazar. Um, this motherfucker just randomly, while, while, while we were having a good time... Vibing out, laughing, hee hee and ha ha watching May go through prey and whatnot. This motherfucker comes in out of nowhere and is like, hmm, is this your old Minecraft username? And everyone was like, literally, everyone in chat was like, why do you know this? Why did you bring that up? And then May was like, that is very strange. That makes me very uncomfortable. Why did you look that up? Stop talking about it, right? This motherfucker continues to push the envelope until pretty much literally half the chat was like, dude, stop. That's weird. That is very, very stalker-like. And then he continues. He continues to only see things from his perspective. He continues to ask very intrusive and 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 and, and boundary breaking questions. Asking shit and 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 also also casually mentioning that he often looks up information about people just because using things such as the internet archive the wayback machine and many other tools that you know preserve information most of the time someone somewhere doesn't want to be preserved okay so he again Continues to mention that. And then, again, May, myself, everyone else in chat was like, dude, you need to stop. You are, you, you are visibly making May uncomfortable with the way she is responding to you. You have everyone here about to tear your head off telling you 
to stop. You are literally engaging in stalker-like behavior, and this is not okay. We don't we don't do that shit here, bro. Stop. And this and 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 granted, granted. This all went on for about uh, the uh, the 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 shy side of you know thirty minutes of him consistently being told to stop. To, to just, just at that point, just stop talking. Period. Right. And he kept fucking going. He kept going up until May got so annoyingly uncomfortable. Was she just? Stop stream, just end the stream early, and, and 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 mind you, right? It wasn't the matter of oh, her health is getting the better of her, or she's in pain, or she's tired, or her voice is getting exhausted. No, no, she was in. For the sake of the, this explanation, she was in damn near perfect condition. Okay, she was fine. But the fact of the matter, the fact of the matter is that this son of a bitch right here refused to acknowledge the boundary that was being set, refused to listen to everyone telling him to stop, refused to listen, period. And then, and then, when the stream ended, and the people in chat we're tearing him asunder. Then he finally was like, Oh, what did I do? Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Oh, I didn't mean to. I didn't think. Your feelings in that situation did not matter. All you need to do is be like, Okay, yeah, I fucked up my bad. I'll stop. So then... Immediately after stream ended, he decides to DM me. Again, these are linked to my thread. I'm not going to sit here and reread these. I trust that y'all have the capacity to read. But TODR, he came to me to apologize about it and try to be on my good side. And, and, and I guess, like, like butter me up and still try to be friends and whatever. And I told Strap, I said, nah. Nah, we, we, we not cool, dude. We not cool. I explained to him everything he was doing wrong again. I told him to stop making excuses again. And within these screenshots, he literally... By, by proof of his own words, acknowledges that he did something wrong, okay? This rat bastard has, I don't know, how many goddamn alt accounts? But, just spare yourself the impending inevitable headache of letting him invade your spaces your communities. Just don't let them in. Another thing too. Um, and and this is also like. Like uh, a, a repeat series of. Incidents. For him. There have been. Plenty of time. In which. Uh, a VTuber would get exposed. For being. Some degree of a pedophile, groomer, abuser, harasser. Some some degree of a shit person. And this motherfucker would, for whatever unholy reason, would sit up here and be like, Oh, well, what about their feelings? And I'm sure I didn't mean any harm by it. Motherfucker, you have stood up and tried to defend fucking proven pedophiles what the fuck do you mean what about their feelings fuck them and fuck you